Well, yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. Frag Metal's coming out with a fragrance. A, a fragrance, Apprentice coming out with a fragrance. Steven's got a fragrance, Jeremy's got a fragrance. You've been talking about me getting a fragrance. Yeah, my fragrance is coming soon. It's dropping soon. We need to put more juice in it, more juice, more projection, more longevity. Price has to be very cheap for subscribers. I know, it's gotta be under $60. Okay, I get it. The juice is almost ready. Let's show the box. No, we can't show the box. We gotta show the fragrance. Okay, it's too much. It's too much, too much. Cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. Hey everybody, my name is Chris. Welcome to Casual Fragrances. On my channel, we talk about fragrances, fragrance reviews, and free fragrance giveaway. If you like this type of information, cool. Why don't you hit that subscribe button, click the like button, leave a comment down below. Okay, so I got tagged in the video by Cam from Carolina Fragrances. Thanks for hitting me up, Cam. I really appreciate that. Your video was awesome. So it's been a decade for a lot of fragrances from 2000 to 2019, going on 2020. Uh, before my list start, I'd like to thank all my subscribers, everybody for watching. If you're in the fragrance, I hope you have a great holiday season, Christmas slash New Year's 2020, and I hope you guys enjoy life. Some of my fragrances are newer, some are older, but this is from a decade from 2000 to 2019. So here we go. My number 10 fragrance is a fragrance from the house of Christian Dior. It's from their private line, even though it is designer wise, but they kind of call it niche. But anyway, it is a 2015 release. And this fragrance is no other than Feb Delicios. Feb Delicios was a, was a banger. I know it got reformulated. People said um, it's nice, it's very sweet fragrance. Tonka bean, vanilla. Overall, this is a gorgeous fragrance. This is a fragrance I have to have in my staple in my collection. My girlfriend loves it. I love it. The first time I smelled it, I drove to New York City just to smell this fragrance and the whole line. I didn't buy it, but I drove there to try them out. Then another time I went back to New York and I bought the bottle. So awesome fragrance from 2015 till now. It's got reformulated. It sucks. But anyway, if you haven't had a chance to check this out, definitely get your news on this fragrance. Christian Dior, Fed Delicios. My number nine fragrance on this. My number nine fragrance is a fragrance from the house of Killian. It's no other than Killian, Rowan in Love. Now this fragrance was released this year, but the Killian brand was released way back in 2017. So it grew for a while and it finally blew up and they got a bunch of fragrances from the line. They have Love Don't Be Shy. They have Vodka on the Rocks. I couldn't put any one of these fragrances on the list. This is my only one I have a full bottle of and I just enjoy this one a lot. The Killian House is amazing. I met Ken, uh, Killian Hennessy myself two times in New York City. Amazing guy, awesome guy to talk to. He follows my channel, I really enjoy it a lot. So if you're, if you're in New York area or if you're near a Killian uh, boutique, definitely check out Rowan and Love. Check out the whole fragrance line. This is, this is a almond, uh, milky, creamy fragrance. I feel like I get some cherry in the fragrance. This is an awesome fragrance. Definitely check this one out. Killian, Rolling in Love. My number eight fragrance is from the house of Paco Rabanne. This fragrance here has been out for a while. They did reformulate it and it had another fragrance, another fragrance. This one is called Invictus Aqua 2018. I had the original Invictus, was amazing. People love that one. Then when it got discontinued, people were trying to buy it online, eBay, trying to, people are selling it for God knows over 120 bucks for a fragrance that cost maybe what, 80, 90 bucks. Anyway, this line has a lot of amazing fragrance from the house of Paco Rabanne. This one's gorgeous. This one here I like for, I like for the summertime. It's just a sea salty, fresh, clean vibe, and I really have no complaints. It does have some citrus in it too, but overall this is a great spring and summer fragrance. Definitely check out Invictus Aqua 2018. My number seven on this. My number seven is from the house of Paco Rabanne. Again, this one is a banger. They have plenty of four. I remember the first one I bought from the house, I bought a couple years ago, and I was very happy with the staple. I got compliments after compliments with them fragrances. This one here, I get more compliments, but nevertheless, this right here is Paco Rabanne, one million lucky. Paco Rabanne, one million lucky. Hazelnut, plum, vanilla. This fragrance is a gorgeous fragrance. This fragrance has been out for many years now, and it still continues with success. The, the beautiful gold, gold bar, one million. This company's made loads of money and they keep bringing out different flankers and people buy it. You can say it's for maybe teenagers, college students. It's not for the grown men, but grown men can wear this fragrance. This fragrance gets compliments and people enjoy this fragrance. That's what this fragrance is intended to do. It smells good, get compliments. They do last, some don't, but this one lasts on my skin. Definitely check out One Million Lucky by Paco Rabanne. My number six fragrance. My number six fragrance has a 
few flavors that come out every year or so in the summertime. I do like the original a lot. You guys know about this once I say the name. And it's no other for now, so Dolce Gabbana. Dolce Gabbana Light Blue Sun Poron. This one here is another special edition one for the summertime. I enjoy this one a lot for the summer. It's fresh, it's citrus, sea salty. This is a great fragrance to have in your collection for the summertime. If you just want to wear a summer fragrance, feel like it's summer, enjoying the spring and summer weather, definitely check this one out. They have made other versions of this every year. Summer good, summer bad. They made Dolce Gabbana. Zest people who didn't like that, they thought that was a failure or a flanker, they didn't like it. This one here is a little bit more of an upgrade. Definitely check out Dolce Gabbana Light Blue Sun. My number five one. My number five one. This is a fragrance that I'm, I recently got in my collection. People talked about it. I like it, but it doesn't really perform that good on my skin. That's probably why I didn't do a full review on it. It is cheap. I got it for I think like under twenty bucks. So anyway, it is a, a fragrance found in Isimiyaki, and this is Isimiyaki, the Blue Fresh. This fragrance is a fresh, clean. Um, does have mint in this fragrance, a great summertime, spring fragrance. It's not you can wear in the winter or the fall because it's not going to help you out. It's going to die before you get out in the cold weather. But this is great. If you just want to wear this to the gym, you just want to wear this casually, you don't want nothing that's going to project heavy. It's not going to be beast mode. You want to wear it nice close to the skin. You just want to smoke clean with people around you. Definitely check out Isimiyaki fragrances. On the list is a fragrance from the house of Gucci. They make so many different fragrances. Some people like, some people don't. This is another flanker from the line. They have so many of them. My girlfriend really doesn't like this one, but I enjoy it. And I wear it when I want to wear it. And I did decan a few to some other people to try out. It's no other than Gucci Guilty Cologne Porum. Yeah, this one is nice. This one came out 2019, but they have been so many different Gucci flankers that came out that you know, you need to try this one out. I know my favorite from the line is Gucci Guilty Oud, which is an amazing one. I learned about that fragrance from Steven from Red Lessons channel, and I will be buying that bottle down the road because I enjoy that one a lot. Just a little expensive, it needs to come down in price, but nevertheless, Gucci Guilty Cologne, I enjoy this one. Some people don't like it. I do get a little bit of freshness, but it does come off like a medicine type of vibe fragrance, or like maybe a, if you had a Band-Aid on for too long, and then when you peel it off, it kind of gives a, kind of a bad kind of smell. I like this one, I enjoy wearing it. Some people don't like it, it's fine. Everybody's not gonna like the same fragrances that you like. So definitely check this one out. Gucci Guilty Cologne. My number three on the list for getting down to the wire. Man, two fragrances left. This fragrance here is from the house of Valentino Umo. They have so many fragrances. This is a Valentino Umo Intense. What can I say that hasn't been said about Valentino Umo Intense? This fragrance is just great. You know, it has great projection, great longevity. It has that you can wear it with a leather jacket. It has that vanilla, tonka bean. This is just, this is a great fragrance for the fall and winter. People like it. If you like your own your own intense, your own perfume, you are going to like this fragrance. So definitely check this one out. I enjoy have it. This is an older fragrance here. This is a 2016 on my list here. Definitely check this one. I know people say they've been discontinued. I got mine about a, a year or two ago. Definitely check out Dior Room. I'm sorry, Valentino Umo Intense. So my number two fragrance. This fragrance has been out for a long time, since 2001. And it's been a staple in most people's fragrance collection. You know, you may not be into fragrances, but you know about this fragrance. You have it, you bought it for your friend, excuse me, a family member, somebody that you care about that just wants to smell fresh and clean. You just want them to smell good. This fragrance is Mugger Cologne. It has been reformulated to a bunch of other Moogers that are out there now. Definitely check this one out if you can find it. You have a newer version of it, which is the same, but you know, some of the older ones last longer. This one here, I only get about a good four to five hours of longevity, and I get about an hour of push of projection, but this is fresh. This is clean. There's nothing wrong with this fragrance. If you just want your man or sniffing others to hop out the shower and spray this on so it's more fresh, green, clean for the whole de for the whole couple hours, definitely check out Mover Cologne. My number one fragrance. You can pick up this fragrance at Perfume Allergy. You can pick it up online. You can pick it up anywhere. Now, this fragrance here, people do layer with other fragrances. You can wear it by yourself. It's up to you. This fragrance has been out for years and years and years. This fragrance is no other than this is Electric Molecule 01. What can you not say about this fragrance? They said there's no smell so when you smell it, but people smell it and they enjoy it. It is what it is. I know from my skin, when I spray it, I get a little bit of a lemmy, kind of sour vibe, but people around me like it. They say it smells nice on me. And I just can't detect it on my skin. But it's been around for a while and people love this fragrance and they do layer it with other fragrances. You know, you spray this on and you spray your other fragrance on. 
you know, and it just layers together and makes you most let your fragrance last longer. It is what it is. Definitely check out Electric Molecule 01. It's been a decade of fragrances. These are some that I collected in my last couple of years of being a fragrance reviewer, and these are all great staple fragrances from 2000 to 2019. I'm very looking forward to 2020 new fragrance releases coming out. Um, it is what it is. What are your fragrances from the last decade, 10 years? Leave a comment down below. I'd like to thank Cam for me be in this uh, tag video. I know more people are going to be tagged in it, so I'd like to look forward to other people tag. Um, if you like these type of fragrance videos, ladies and gentlemen, why not show your support by clicking that red subscribe button on the bottom of the screen. Uh, click on the like button. Leave a comment down below. Um, until my next fragrance video, hope everybody has a happy Christmas and a happy new year. Until then, bye.